Good day, one what fly squad. Welcome back to another Thursday trip report. I'm at Brisbane International Airport and today I'm flying to Hong Kong and then onwards to Kuala Lumpur with Cathay Pacific and Malaysia Airlines. Uh, this trip report, I'll cover the Cathay Pacific leg from Brisbane to Hong Kong. Now, without further ado, let's go check in and then later immigration and security just behind me. We're at the Cathay Pacific check-in. If you're going to Hong Kong, your check-in experience can take a while because of the document checks relating to COVID-19 and quarantine. In my case, I'm just transiting in Hong Kong, so check-in was really quick and easy. I got my boarding passes within two minutes. Duty free is still open at 11 p.m. That's very un-Australian. They've got to make the most out of it. At Brisbane International, there are two more departures, one going to Singapore with Singapore Airlines and Cathay to Hong Kong. Cathay Business Class customers and eligible One World Frequent Flyers have access to the Plaza Premium and Qantas International Lounge before their Cathay flight. This evening, however, the Qantas Lounge is already closed, so we've only got access to the Plaza Premium. The Plaza Premium Lounge right now is only hosting Cathay Pacific customers, and I'm actually quite surprised how many people there are here, suggesting a relatively busy flight to Hong Kong and beyond. The Brisbane Plaza Premium is a tiny lounge, but it's beautifully designed without ceiling, so it feels very spacious and during the day you'll get plenty of natural lights coming in. The dinner buffet options are excellent, you also have a bar where you can order spirits and premium Australian wines. I love those little sitting pots, they're great for solo travellers, you get plenty of privacy, there's also power supply so you can eat, rest and work within the pods. So I got myself a Bailey's on ice, chicken curry, chicken wings and pizza. Everything was very delicious. I went back to the buffet to get a second bowl of chicken curry. It was really, really good. We don't have much time left until boarding, so I'm not going to show you the shower room, but there's certainly time for a glass Thank of you. bubbly. I'm actually so, so excited. Last time I flew Cathay Pacific, my home carrier was July 2019, so it's been exactly three years. I've also never flown Cathay Red Eye from Australia to Hong Kong, so I'm quite keen to see what they've got on offer. So here's our aircraft today, a COVID baby. It's only one year old, Cathay Pacific Airbus A350-1000 Bravo Lima X-Ray November. According to the ground staff, there are 100 passengers on this flight. 70 of them will terminate in Hong Kong and quarantine. 30 of them, including myself, are transit passengers. Thank you. Just before you step on board the plane, you can grab yourself a cafe care kit. Inside the kit, you'll find a face mask and antiseptic wipes. Welcome aboard Cafe A350-1000. This aircraft has 46 business class seats, 32 premium economy and 256 economy class seats. Our seat today is 68A. Prior to boarding, the cabin crew have left me a bottle of Vivian water. They usually hand them out to frequent flyers. Once boarding is completed, a cabin crew came and said hi to me and gave me another bottle of water. Expecting a relatively smooth flying on route, but I do ask if you're in your seat, please keep your seatbelt loosely fastened, just in case we come across an unexpected area over here. Uh, Gilbert and his team are about to show you a safety big briefing us. Pay particular attention as it does contain very important information. I'll get back to you just before top of descent with some uh, weather information for Hong Kong. In the meantime, please sit back, relax, and enjoy the flight. Quite, uh, I arrived from Brisbane to Hong Kong. My name is um, Gilbert, your Info Service Manager. On behalf of Cathay Pacific and our team, I would like to welcome you on board. This flight is operating in conjunction with British Airways, Finnair and Japan Airlines. To our members, it's a pleasure to see you again. Moment you begin your journey. We are here to make the experience effortlessly smooth and enjoyable. Because your safety is important to us, please take a few minutes to watch our video. We're now passing past a MRX A380. I've done videos on them before, so do check them out on my channel. And obviously, plenty of Qantas A330 and Qantas 737 videos as well. 
So in the economy today, pretty much every other two seats are taken. So basically everyone has three seats to themselves. I'll show you the Cafe A350 1000 economy seat features later in the video. Now please enjoy the takeoff from Brisbane Airport. Shortly after takeoff, the cabin crew began the in flight service by giving out water to everyone. I guess due to COVID 19, they no longer do the peanut and drink service before the meal. Cafe in flight entertainment is one of the best in the skies. You have an extensive selection of Eastern and Western films. There are external cameras on board and a very cool interactive flight map, meaning you can zoom in and zoom out to wherever you want. The cabin crew are now serving us dinner. Pre-COVID, there would be a menu in economy class. Now the cabin crew would let you know the options. Well, we'll have uh, chicken thigh with potato or seafood with rice. Uh, chicken, please. Chicken. Yeah. Thank you. So I went for the first option, chicken thigh with potatoes. I love how everything is neat and tidy on the tray. Presentation, 10 out of 10. So for starter, we got prosciutto on couscous. This is actually the highlight of the meal for me. We have a lint chocolate ball, bread and butter. So we've got chicken thigh, potatoes and plenty of vegetables. A passion fruit ice cream. And for drinks I opted for a sparkling water. Everything on the tray was absolutely delicious. I actually like salty food a lot. So I absolutely love Southeast Asian food and prosciutto. The crew was very kind and came back to me and asked if I wanted more food. I just asked for a extra prosciutto on couscous. While collecting meal trays, the crew are also offering a second drink. Usually with my iPhone 11, I can't capture anything outside during the dark. But tonight we're actually experiencing a super moon. In fact, it's the largest of the year of 2022. So it's so bright that my iPhone 11 could capture the outside. The super moon is so big that the combined gravitational forces of the sun, earth and moon alignment may have caused minor coastal flooding around the world. Hello there, welcome to Cafe A350 1000 Economy Class Lavatory. I'm in the one between the two economy cabins. First, I really like the, the lights on the mirror. Very cool. The basin's rather huge. You got hand gel, hand cream, and your hand soap. Hand towels and the uh, facial tissues. Cool. A mirror back here. Another cool, cool. And the toilet down here. We're still flying over continental Australia with about six hours to go before we reach Hong Kong. So let's catch some sleep. It's not that obvious at all on the screen, but that super moon is super big in real life. Now let's do the seat features together. So every seat has a cock hook. There's a tiny storage compartment. You can open it by pulling the latch. On the cover itself, you can find a smartphone holder and a cup holder. And obviously you can store your personal items like your passport and pen behind. Here's a TV adjustable with a USB port. Further down is a tray table. 
you can open it doubling the size and also move it back and forth. Here's a seat pocket, pretty standard, and an extra pouch for your, again, personal items like maybe a smartphone. Legroom 32 inches and a universal power socket underneath between every two seats. Every seat comes with a soft, adjustable, very comfortable headrest. With less than two hours ago, the cabin crew began the breakfast service. On this eight hour flight, Cafe Pacific serves two full meals. That's really, really impressive. So breakfast is here, let's dig into it. So for the main, we have a massive frittata and a chicken sausage. A bread and butter again, this time with strawberry jam. There's also a fruit yogurt and a bowl of fruits. And this time for drink of choice, I went for an English tea with milk. The frittata is absolutely delicious. There's also spinach and onions. We're now flying over the Philippines and the air is super bumpy. Now I know nothing about physics or space science, but I do wonder if Supermoon has anything to do with this. Transit passengers are advised to post it to the boarding gate for your own work and flight as soon as possible. Thank you. We're now getting so close to Hong Kong, so let's quickly conclude this trip port with Cathay Pacific right here, right now. Our journey today started at Brisbane International. There's essentially no COVID transit requirements in Hong Kong, other than having to wear a face mask. So the check-in process was really straightforward. After that, I headed straight to immigration and security. With my Qantas Gold status, or One World Sapphire, I was able to use the Plaza Premium Lounge before my cafe flight. It's a nice little cozy lounge. The food was really, really good. The moment you step on board a cafe plane is when you have to start wearing a face mask. We got a warm welcome from the cabin crew at the boarding door. And then when I got to my seat 68A, I was delighted to see that a bottle of Evian water was waiting for me in the seat pocket. And then once boarding was complete, a cabin crew came to greet me and gave me another bottle of water. Cathay Pacific and their cabin crew are amazing at recognizing and thanking their frequent flyers. Cathay A350-1000 features Cathay's newest economy class product. Now the seat is very, very comfortable. It's got double seat back padding for greater back support and great recline. I would rate this as the second best economy class seat out there. I still find Japan Airlines the most comfortable in terms of seat width and legroom. Due to COVID-19, there was no peanut and after departure drink service. Some other noticeable changes include the absence of in-flight magazines and paper menus but I was pleasantly surprised that Cathay was serving two full meals on this flight. I recently flew Singapore Airlines Red Eye to Australia. Flight duration was about the same, but I was only served one meal. So overall, it was a fantastic experience with Cathay Pacific from Brisbane to Hong Kong. For your information, Cathay Pacific is currently flying two times weekly between Hong Kong and Brisbane. Your return airfare on Cathay Economy Class starts from 2,200 Australian dollars from Brisbane to Hong Kong. If you go beyond Hong Kong, it gets a lot cheaper. Cathay Pacific, Brisbane to Bangkok via Hong Kong is currently $1,100. Brisbane to London Heathrow via Hong Kong, so an extra 12 hours into your journey each way is $2,000 return. And currently Hong Kong is open for tourism, but it comes with a three day quarantine as well as 17 COVID tests. So if you really, really want to fly Cathay, I highly recommend booking Cathay Pacific from A to B via Hong Kong. It's still relatively cheap. So guys, that's it for the conclusion today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed watching this cafe video of mine. I'm actually flying cafe again in a month time and I can't wait. But next time round, I'm actually terminating in Hong Kong for a three day quarantine. Oh my God. Anyway, if you're new to my channel, I upload a new to report like this one every Thursday, 12 p.m. Hong Kong time. In Brisbane or Queensland, that's every 2 p.m. Thursday. So be sure to click that subscribe and bell button so next time when I upload, you'll get notified right away. Please like this video, comment down below, and share this video with your friends. Each and every of your action will help the growth of my channel. You can also keep up to date with me on my social media platforms like Be Real, Facebook, Instagram, and Snapchat. And finally, if you want to go above and beyond in funding my flights, you can do so via Patreon or PayPal Me. Patreon is a monthly or annually subscription. With PayPal Me, you can do that anytime you want. Now that's enough talking. Please enjoy the approach and landing into Hong Kong Chat Lab Cop, and I'll have a Q&A clip at the end of the video as usual. I'll see you in a few minutes. Bye.
to our home Hong Kong. For your safety, please remain seated with your seatbelt fastened until the seatbelt sign has been turned off. Be careful when opening the overhead compartments as items inside may fall out. Please also check that you have all your personal belongings before leaving the aircraft. You may now switch on your personal electronic devices with cellular functions. For passengers with connecting flights on Cathay Pacific, please reserve time for security checks and arrive at the boarding gates at least 30 minutes before departure. The connecting flight information is available from your personal TV or our ground staff on arrival. It has been our pleasure taking care of you today. Thank you for flying Cafe Pacific, a member of the One World Alliance. Again, thanks for watching. We're now disembarking our plane as I connect onto a Malaysia Airlines flight to Kuala Lumpur. So make sure that you've subscribed and stay tuned for that true report. The Q&A starts in 10 second time. Thank you, bye-bye. Hello there, welcome back to Q&A. I hope you enjoyed watching that cafe trip or So today I'm going to do some Q&A on the questions that people ask me anonymously on Instagram. So let's kick off with question one. What happened to uh, what happened to your dad? Uh, you never talk about him. So my dad, um, he doesn't travel as much and probably that's why I don't really talk about him. And also in Hong Kong, we don't live together. Um, he has never lived with me since I was born, in fact. Um, yeah, he's doing fine. I'm seeing him actually in two weeks' time when he comes to LA for the first time ever. I can't wait. Question two. Uh, which airline has the best uniform? I think Qantas has one of the best uniform. Uh, some European airlines have that little hat thing for their female, and I think that's pretty cool. Um, Singapore and Malaysia Airlines, very traditional and beautiful as well. High Nine Airlines also very, um, it's quite traditional but also contemporary at the same time. Uh, the worst trouble I've got myself into as a kid. To, to be honest, I was quite a good kid. Uh, the worst trouble probably, I don't know, use my parents credit card for something. What's your biggest insecurity? Uh, good question. Um, I don't really know on top of my head now, to be honest. Uh, probably, to be honest, I think, um, what's that word? Uh, my image, perhaps, like how I look, my body, my weight, my face. Like, I'm a bit, uh, anxious sometimes. Like, I would do some shots and retake just because I don't like the way I looked. Love your videos, thank you. Keep up the great work and I was wondering if you've ever been told off for filming on flights. Um, I have a few times, but usually I just explain to them what I'm doing and they're happy. Do you ever fly Egypt Air? Uh, do you want to fly Egypt Air A220? Uh, I want to fly Egypt Air because I've never done them before and any A220 I'm happy, so short answer, yes, I want to fly. <laughs> What do you think about being part of the uh, Mile High Club? I mean, you do you. As long as I'm not disturbed on the plane, I don't care what you do. <laughs> Thoughts on Cathay's future? I think they'll be fine getting out of COVID, like Hong Kong slowly reopening. Uh, Bloomberg or HSBC, whatever, say that they will uh, make a profit this year, in fact. And also they're bringing planes back to Hong Kong from Alice Springs in Australia. So things are looking quite good, I guess. What do you feel when you lose something that you don't own? I uh, don't know what you mean, but I feel nothing perhaps because you can't lose something that you don't own, right? So thanks so much for watching today's Q&A and the Cafe Trip Board again. And I hope you a great weekend ahead. Bye. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Boston. For your safety, please remain seated with your seatbelt fastened and your cabin baggage stowed until the seatbelt sign has been turned.